Hi seniors, this is your Just Phonics tutorial for Monday the 8th of February. Uh, we are on to page 80. You've been doing really well with this um, because it's been getting trickier and trickier as time goes on um, and there are kind of very few easy pages left in this book. We're kind of, we're getting close to the end of it as well. Um, so this sound here, you all know it, you've seen it before, it is y, 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 down, around, up and down for a big long tail and all around up here. But it also has another sound, okay? Um, and it, that is E, E, okay? And when you see it as the sound E, it is pretty much, pretty much always at the end of a word. At least you could know that much. Um, this E, when you see this sound, the letter Y, at the end of a word, it tends to be an E sound and not a Y sound, okay? I'll tell you a bit more about that in a second. So let's read the little cloud here first. E, because we know now that they're talking about E, I don't know why they have a different shape E here, but just look at that. It is an E, even though it looks different to that. Uh, it's a little bit confusing, but E is E's best friend. She says E too, okay? So that's really all you need to know is that uh, E is uh, is the letter Y sometimes, okay? So so let's take a look at part B here. Make E's special new sound. Write E at the end of each word and then read each word. So uh, first of all, I want you to read uh, the sound as you see it. B, O, M, P. B, O, M, P. B, O, M, P. B, O, M, P. Bump, bump. B, O, M, P. Bump. So bump, like when you uh, bump your head or when you uh, are walking along and you bump into a chair or something like that. Bump. And then you put this letter Y at the end and you go down, around, up and down for a big long tail and stop there. So bump. And then remember our sound is just like this one here. It's E. Bumpy. 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 And you know that because it's at the end of the word, it is probably not going to be a Y sound. B. O. Mm, p, y, bump you. Bump you is not a word, obviously, it'd be a nonsense word. But when you put it in here at the end, you know that the y, the letter Y makes an E sound. B, o, m, p, e, bumpy. Bumpy. Like uh, when you're driving down a country lane and it is bumpier because the roads are not as, as smooth. It is bumpy. Uh, so bumpy. Um, down here, we'll skip these two and we'll go to this one here for the example and we'll say N. And then we have a line here that says that these two are one sound here. N. Oi. N. Oi. Z. Or S. Uh, and remember, as we know, uh, the letter S can sometimes make more of a Z sound than a S sound. N. Oi. S. Or N. Oi. Z. E. So we'll write the E down here. The letter Y, noisy, noisy. If something is very loud, it would be noisy. So match each picture that has E's new sound to the sound in the middle. And remember, the E sound will be at the end. So let's do a couple of examples here. Um, I'm going to tell you what the pictures are because some of them are a bit difficult to figure out. I'll zoom in here so we can get a better look at them. Uh, we have a teddy. We have some jelly. You can see that it's shaking there from the shaking lines. We have holly. We have a banana. We have a fairy. And this, I'm going to guess that it's a potato. Um, yeah, a potato, I would say, because I don't know. I don't know what else it could be. It could be a rock, but I, I'm going to say it's a potato. For the purpose of this exercise, it's a potato. So you've got... Teddy, Teddy, and if you listen closely, the E sound is at the end. Like with all the examples here, the E sound goes at the end. So Teddy, Teddy. So we know that that is probably not going to be the letters E and E, like up here. We know that it's probably going to be the letter Y, like E up here. So the new E sound, Teddy, Teddy. Okay, and remember, listen closely to the word when you say it yourself out loud because the E sound will be at the end. Teddy, 
banana. Does that have an E sound in it? Banana, banana. No, it doesn't. You'll put an X through that one. Okay, so down here, part D. Uh, so just find all of the E sounds here, the, the ones with the E sound at the end, and match them all up. Down here, part D. Read with Robo and color the correct pictures. Pretty straightforward. You guys know that one. Um, I'll let you go ahead and do that on your own. I won't help you with that too much. Just read the words and then try to find a picture of that word. Up here, again, read and write with Robo. Add E to the sound of each word. Again, you've done this before on the other page. Um, these are all words with a double sound, though, if you watch closely. They all have a double sound. And remember, when you have two sounds, one after the other, like L, S, Z, or F, you only say the sound once. So just in the quick example, you say S, E, L, and then we're going to put in E, S, E, L, E, S, E, L, E, silly, silly. And remember, it's not S, E, L, L, E, because the two sounds together just go off once. S, E, L, E. Uh, read the words, colour the words that end in the new E sound. So really, you can do that by just looking at them. Um, k, l, e, f, k, l, e, f. Is there an E sound at the end of that? No, there isn't. You can put an X through that one. D, e, z, e, d, e, z, e, dizzy. That one has an E sound at the end, and you can colour that one in. Just watch out, because this E sound here looks a little bit different to how it should look in our example. Um, so just watch out for those ones. Down here, using some of the E words that you found here, try to make some fit in each frame. And remember, this can be quite tricky because you need to know whether the words are tall, giraffe letters, short, turtle or uh, tortoise letters. Uh, this is going to be, because it's bigger and it's also tall, you're looking for two tall letters. They're probably going to be a double letter, I would say. Okay, uh, and then all of them end with a monkey letter because we are looking at the E sound, which is the letter Y, and Y is a monkey letter. Okay, so down here, I'll do a one quick example for you. Uh, it's a tall one, short one, two tall ones that are probably going to be the exact same, and then an E. So you can fill in the E for all of them because you know they're all going to have an E sound in there because it's all e, uh, e words. And this one here, I think you could fit this in. You could probably fit in another one, I'm not sure, but you could definitely fit this one in there. You'll have a look and maybe one of you will find an example of one that you could also fit in there. I can see, I can see one, um, oh, I can see two, I think, that would fit in there as well. But I'm going to use this one here, d, a, d, e. D is the tall one here, A, two does, two does in here, and then E, E, D, A, D, E, D, A, D, Daddy. Um, so down here then at the bottom, read the words, um, I won't help you with that at all, read the words and then draw a picture for each one. Best of luck with that, if you're happy with it, give it a tick for the happy face. If you're not sure how you're happy you are with it, give it an X, if you're not sure if you understand, and if you are not happy with it, uh, give it a, a, a tick for the, um, the unhappy face. So tick here, tick here, or tick here if you're happy, not sure, or uh, unhappy. So best of luck with that today, guys. Uh, Slán, August Carmagos.